sub sub flappers so mahoyo did something tick did something break did they uh just completely lose it what's going on i know i'm late to the party as usual uh <laughs> this is from way earlier in the morning i'm sure you guys already seen a lot of content creators talk about this but as usual i'm not here to give you an immediate knee-jerk reaction because i'm so late so i'm here to kind of break down what's going on the thought process behind likely what mahoyo is thinking the consequences what are the things that are going to be really affected by the actions that mahoyo has done both for the players for content creators whatever all right all genres there's a lot of things that may change if this continues but yeah let's uh let's talk about this a little bit the good the bad and of course the ugly okay so i believe i don't need to focus too much on each individual one um mahoyo pretty much dropped uh three new characters this animo character of course ayaka and then we also have this pyro character um yeah First, let's just say Rip Amber. It's pretty much set and done at this point. Dust your hands off. Amber's not getting a buff. Amber's probably never gonna get changed. And yeah, maybe even some Amber mains are gonna essentially move on. But this is what we got right now. All right, so what's going on here? Mahoyo essentially released these around, I think, 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time this morning. Uh, so I think the logic behind this, I think everybody kind of understands it in a way it's to combat leakers. And while that on the surface, there's nothing wrong with that. I think Mahoyo, we can joke all we want. It's like, oh, if you can't beat them, join them. And I think centralizing this kind of information and have it come from an official source is definitely something Mahoyo likely have been thinking about for a while. And this is just their way of coming out and doing it. Uh, I've said in the past, Mahoyo is never one to really have this communication being having developers come out hey we're thinking about doing this they just kind of go and do it right all the stuff we've been complaining about they slowly integrate it into the game so i keep saying mahoyo is always listening they just don't respond and when they do respond they do it just out of nowhere and they just blast us away same with how they gave us sneak previews of inazuma in previous live streams as well as now the leak characters well not even leak now the official characters and what this also points to is something very interesting which is for potentially patch 1.7 we'll get to that a little later because right now i really want to talk and focus on is mahoyo doing this out of fear or mahoyo is simply regaining control because there's two aspects of this i don't know if you guys know uh currently there's a new game well not a new game uh fantasy star online right uh it's it's an MMO game and it's no secret that is set to release in I think a couple days here if maybe a day or so I I'm not sure I'm not too in tune with it but let me tell you Mahoyo is very aware of everything we do how long we spend in the game when we are in game what we spend our time doing like how many deaths each region has like what causes the death remember Tave at times this is like this newsletter Mahoyo, Mahoyo knows so much of what's going on inside their game they track almost everything we do in the game so it's no secret that mahoyo probably understands that a lot of people are losing interest they're logging in less they're spending less time in the game and of course genshin player base is built up of a lot of people from a lot of different game genre backgrounds we got the mmo players we got the rpg players we got the single players we got the multi massive multiplayer online we got some shooters we got some mobile players we got mobile players like mobile game players we got gotcha game players we got puzzle game players we, like it's a culmination of many different genre of players and the main reason that maho has been able to get away with a lot of uh, you know secrecy in the way they push content is because mahoyo knows well you got nowhere else to go now do you people well now people are starting to have some and as content creators have been quitting as people start discussing other games and talking about other titles that are coming out potential things especially with the whole genshin killer genshin killer genshin it, it's just non-stop and of course i keep saying mahoyo knows mahoyo's listening so now Am I saying Mahoyo is scared? Absolutely not. Mahoyo isn't scared, people. Listen, all right? I think Mahoyo, at the very most, they're concerned, right? Of course they're concerned. It's it's smart uh, as a business de decision to keep track of what your competitors are doing. So while Mahoyo knows something is happening, something is about to happen over the next few days, they might bleed some players here and there. They might even lose some content creators who covers those other games. 
But this is just Mahoyo's way of being like, hey, hey, hey. Hey, look here, look here. Hey, look what's going on. See this? Hey, buddy. This stuff is coming, all right? This stuff is coming. And of course, with the very, very disappointing banner in a way, I would say for most players that uh, Mahoyo really needs some spark in Genshin right now. And doing it like this is just Mahoyo's wave of doing something really flashy to grab our attention. That's really it. Remember when I mentioned, uh, as this may point to what 1.7 is going to be, please don't get too excited because there's also the potential of this just being a gateway into 1.7 and potentially 1.7 being Inazuma. Does this solidify 1.7 being Inazuma? I don't think so. Remember when we looked at, and this is just my theory people, remember when we looked at uh, the live streams where Inazuma is just a bunch of islands. There's like, oh, this island, there's this island, there's this island. Who knows? Like, would I put it past Mahoyo to release Inazuma in different patches so people keep saying oh is 1.7 2.0 i don't know maybe 1.7 is going to give us a couple islands 1.8 is going to give us more islands 1.9 is going to give us more islands and finally 2.0 the main island the main region in azuma drops and it's just drip feeding us this kind of stuff more with characters sprinkled in between but however with these character releases this points to maybe the next patch we're going to get two five-star characters and one four-star character and we haven't had this in a very very long time mahoyo so this is just one way to keep us engaged keep us working through patch 1.6 genshin patch 1.6 is about to drop very very soon and it's no surprise a lot of people are skipping Klee's banner and what people say wow Mahoyo doing this, no one's gonna summon on the Klee banner now. Well, let me tell you something. No, nobody was summoning on Klee's banner to begin with. It's very few, like maybe two people watching this video right now will be summoning for Klee. And seeing this stuff coming out likely won't change their mind because they were summoning for Klee fully knowing Klee is uh, who she is, right? I'm not gonna get into a whole that. I have videos made regarding Klee. Uh, and uh, how she performs but people understand what they're getting into at this point especially if you are watching my content and i don't think this detracts anything away from mehoyo's current plan but it definitely if not some people uh, a few people would be less likely to completely quit genshin because a lot of people they're probably taking breaks right now taking breaks and if something else catches them during their break they might never come back and what Mahoyo really is trying to do is to prevent a situation like that. Keep you in game, keep you logged in, keep you playing, keep you saving for Ayaka, keep you saving for whatever, you know, Kazuha, keep you saving for, what's this, what's her name, Momi, Momima? Yo, oh, yo, well, I'm not going to be further away from her name. Yoi Mia, all right, people? Get excited. I'm very excited. I've I've always kept saying I, I'm enjoying Genshin for certain features that it offer i'm not here out there being like i love genshin to get best game ever no people keep thinking walrus why are you so positive no i just keep telling you guys i have parts of the game that i really enjoy and i completely ignore the parts that i don't enjoy just like how i play all my games all right you can't be saying i love every aspect or i hate every aspect just that's just not how entertainment works all right so thank you all for watching and uh, i'm gonna be looking forward to seeing all your responses down below what do you guys think uh are you, is mahoyo scared is mahoyo <laughs> Is Mahoyo just trying to regain control? What's going on here? What do you what do you think? Alright, so I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's video. Until then, stay safe and peace peace.